write down all the factors of 4 to 0. To write all the factors of 4 to 0, first we should do the prime factorization of it. So let us do. So 4 to 0. Now, last digit is 0. So we take 5 here. Now first number is 4. 4 is smaller than 5, so we take two numbers that is 42. A number close to 42 in 5 table is 5, 8, 40. 42 minus 40 is 2, 2 carried forward making it 20. When do we get 20 in 5 table? 5, 4 is 20. Now for this number last digit is 4 which is even. So we take 2 here. First number is 8. When do we get 8 in 2 table? 2, 4 is 8. Now 4. When do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. Now for this number last digit is 2, 2 is even so we take 2 here. First number is 4. When do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. Now 2. 2, 1 is 2. Here we have 21 is nothing but 3 7 Now 7 is a prime number so 7, 1 is 7. So now 4, 2, 0 is equal to the product of these numbers that is 5 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 ok so far next every number will include 1 and the number itself in its factors I repeat every number will include one and the number itself in its factors okay next now from all these numbers now you select one different number at a time so we get 5 2 3 7 that's it. No more other numbers we could get. Now, from these numbers, now you select a combination of two numbers. How do we select it? C. First, I fix 5. I combine with 2. I get 10. If I combine with 2, again 10. Now I combine with 3. I get 15. Now I combine with 7. I get 35. Now you leave this 5, take this 2, combine with 2, we get 4. Now you combine with 3, we get 6. Now you combine with 7, we get 14. Now you leave this 2, take this 2. Even if you combine again you get 6 and 14. So now you leave this 2, take this 3, combine with 7. 3 into 7 is 21. No more combinations possible. Next. Now we take a combination of 3 numbers. How do we take it? C. Now, first I fix these 2 numbers. 5 into 2 is 10. 10 I combine with 2 will result in 20. Now if I combine with 3, I get 30. If I combine with 7, I get 70. Now I leave this 2. Now I take these 2. Then also I get the same thing. So now you leave this as well. Now you take these 2. 5 into 3 and then this. 5 into 3 is 15, 15 into 7 is 105, okay. Now 5 is done. Now you take these two numbers combine with 3. 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3 is 12. Now combine with 7, 4 into 7 is 28. Now you leave this 2, now you are taking these two. 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 7, 42. Okay. 
Now this two also you leave it. Now you are left with these three. Two into three is six. Six into seven forty two, which we already have. So no more possible combinations. Next. Now you take a combination of four numbers. How do we take C? First, I fix these three numbers. That is five into two, ten. Ten into two, twenty. I combine with three. So twenty into three is sixty. Now when I combine with seven, twenty into seven is one forty. Okay. Now you leave these two. These two combine with this three and seven. So five into two, ten. Ten into three, thirty. Thirty into seven is two one zero. Okay. Next. No other option. No. Now you leave this five. Now you take these four. That is two into two four. Four into three twelve. Twelve into seven is ninety eight. Okay. So no other possible combination. Next. Now we take a combination of five numbers. How do we take C? Here we have only five numbers. If we take all the five numbers. We get four two zero itself. So thus, these are all the factors of four twenty. That is one two three five seven ten fifteen four six fourteen. Twenty one, thirty five, twenty thirty seventy, one zero five twelve, twenty eight forty two, sixty one forty, two one zero ninety eight. And finally, four two zero. So these are all the factors of four two zero. Am I clear?